quick announcement before the boys senior eight gets started uh, a ridley rowing iphone uh it was on the case or on the, the screen has been found it has a dark brown case um it's at the headquarter tent uh near the saint joe's boathouse ask for margaret um if anyone lost a phone uh a ridley rowing iphone with a dark brown case go to the headquarter tent near the saint joe's boathouse and ask for margaret all right Final race of the day here at the Stotesbury Cup Regatta. The boys, senior eight, getting into the blocks. Coxons getting Co their points. Couple hands up. Couple hands up. In lane one, Jesuit Prep from Dallas. In lane two, Bethesda Chevy Chase. Three, St. Joe's Prep. Four, Walt Whitman. Lane five, Gonzaga. And in lane six, St. Albans. Seems to be more pedestrians as uh, time goes on are congregating in the grandstands. All right, boys, senior eight, getting ready to get started. And they're off. Clean start. Looked like a good jump there for Bethesda Chevy Chase out of lane two. All boats off the mark cleanly, and we are underway at the final race of the day at the 2021 Stotesbury Cup Regatta presented by Toyota. Thanks for joining us all day. We're so glad to be back on the Schuylkill River in the year of our award, 2021. Mm -hmm. After missing last season, um, those who have followed along know that in 2019, this race was won by St. Joe's Prep, who currently sits in lane three. Can they go back to back in non-consecutive years? That's the question. Just about 500 meters in here, St. Joe's Prep and Walt Whitman, your two leaders, they won their semifinals this morning. Looks like they have already created some separation between themselves and the rest of the crews. In the time trial yesterday, not much separated them. Just about one second between St. Joe's Prep and Walt Whitman. And we've seen these eights go up against each other before. Not these specific eights, but these teams go up against each other before. In the JV8 category earlier today, and in the second eight category, and St. Joe's Prep has been getting the better of, of Walt Whitman. Let's see where we're officially at when they, when they cross this uh, first camera. Looks pretty good right now. Tight race between these two. The prep in here. And it looks as though Walt Whitman might have a slight advantage here. George, what do you think? Yeah, I don't know. It's tough to tell. Um, I would say that they're pretty much dead even. And oh. there you see it. I think George called it right. These two boats are dead even. Second and third is consisting of the rest of the boats in the race very closely together. Looks as though give the edge to Dallas Jesuit out of lane one. But right now, all eyes are on St. Joe's Prep in lane three and Walt Whitman in lane four. They're locked evenly. Maybe give the edge by a bow deck to St. Joe's Prep right now. Yes, this is exciting, uh, especially in between strokes. You just see uh, the, the boats kind of bobble back and forth. St. Joe's definitely taking a couple seats right here. This definitely an effective move that they've just made. This varsity eight from St. Joe's Prep, undefeated so far uh, in the spring season, looking to continue that streak at the Sotesbury Cup Regatta. They are walking right now. Absolutely moving. Looks like they have Walt about Whitman. five or six seats. St. Joe's Prep under the wire, 400 meters left to go in the boys' senior eight. St. Joe's Prep out in front, Walt Whitman in second, the race for third between lanes one and six. That's Dallas Jesuit and St. Albans, Gonzaga and Bethesda Chevy Chase just behind them there. 
St. Joe's not out of the woods yet. They're going to have to put up a stellar sprint in order to keep this. You have to expect Walt Whitman to give it everything they've got here as we come down the stretch. Boys, senior eight. 300 meters left to go. St. Joe's prep out in front. St. Joe's might have taken another seat there. It actually, it looks like uh, Bow and Cox in our line between St. Joe's. About a and full length here for St. Joe's prep. Their lead not diminishing, but increasing. 100 meters left to go. Boys senior eight, final race of the day. 2021 Stokesbury Cup champion in the boys senior eight. St. Joe's prep. Silver to Walt Whitman. Bronze, St. Albans. Bethesda, Chevy Chase, fourth. Gonzaga, fifth. Or I'm sorry, Bethesda, Chevy Chase now in sixth. Fourth was Gonzaga. Gonzaga came across fourth. I can St. Hear Joe's Prep standing up, celebrating their victory. I can hear the pedestrians in the distance just chanting, yeah, prep. You heard it, folks. And that St. Joe's Prep does it again. St. Joe's Prep does it again. 2019 champions, 2021 champions, back-to-back -back champions in non-consecutive years. And that will just about do it for our coverage here today of the 2021 Stokesbury Cup Regatta presented by Toyota. For George Twardy, I'm Joe Leonard, sending a big thank you to all the folks who put this together. Thank you to the Schuylkill Navy, the production crew, all the parents who stayed at home as we put together this spectator list, or so-called spectator list. Stokesbury Cup Regatta. Big thank you to everyone who helped put this together. This event was such a rousing success, and it's so great to be back on the Schuylkill River. I'll be back next year, bringing you through the spring events. But until then, I'm Joe Leonard, signing off.